What do you want? Hmm? Girl? Boy. You sent for me? Yes, I did. You're good, Spaniard. But you're not that good. You could be magnificent. I'm required to kill, so I kill. That is enough. It is enough for the provinces, but not for Rome. The young emperor has organized a series of spectacles to commemorate his father, Marcus Aurelius. I find it amusing that it was Marcus Aurelius, the wise and all-knowing Marcus Aurelius, who closed us down. So finally, after five years, scratching a living in flea-infested villages, we are finally going back to where we belong. The Colosseum. Oh, you should see the Colosseum, Spaniard. 50,000 Romans watching every movement of your sword. The silence before you strike and the noise afterwards, it rises, rises like a storm as if you were the thunder god himself. You were a gladiator? Yes, I was. You won your freedom? Long time ago, the old emperor, Marcus Aurelius, presented me with a rudeus. It's just a wooden sword, a symbol for freedom. He touched me on the shoulder once, and I was free. You knew Marcus Aurelius. I did not say that I knew him. I said that he touched me on the shoulder once. You asked me what I want. I too want to stand in front of the Emperor, as you did. Then listen to me. Learn from me. I wasn't the best because I killed quickly. I was the best because the crowd loved me. Win the crowd. Win your freedom. I will win the crowd. Give them something they have never seen before. So, Spaniard, we shall go to Rome together and have bloody adventures. And the great hall will suckle us until we are fat and happy and can suckle no more. And then, when enough men have died, perhaps you will have your freedom.